1 minus sin square theta can be written as cos square theta because sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So 1 minus sin square theta can be written as cos square theta. From the formula of 2 tan inverse x, we can write it as tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square. Using the properties of trigonometric function, tan pi by 4 plus x is nothing but 1 minus tan x divided by 1 plus tan x. 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta. Secant square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. So in the previous session, we have learned the properties of trigonometric functions and the problems related to it. So in today's session also, we will look after a few more problems from inverse trigonometric functions. So the first question is, sine inverse of 2x square root of 1 minus x square is equal to 2 sine inverse x. So we have to prove the given properties here. So we have sine inverse function and 2 sine inverse x. So let me take here x is equal to sine theta. If I take x is equal to sine theta, then this implies theta is equal to sine inverse x. So now let us take the LHS here. So LHS is sin inverse of 2 into in the place of x replace sin theta 2 sin theta square root of 1 minus sin square theta. So this is equal to sin inverse of 2 sin theta. 1 minus sin square theta can be written as cos square theta because sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So 1 minus sin square theta can be written as cos square theta. Cos square theta under the square root get cancels with square. We are left with only cos theta. Now here we have sin inverse of 2 sin theta cos theta can be written as sin 2 theta. Now we have sin inverse along with sin. We know that sin inverse of sin theta can be written as only theta. So therefore sin inverse of sin 2 theta can be written as 2 into theta. What is theta here? Theta is sin inverse x. So 2 into sin inverse x which is equal to the RHS. Hence we prove. Next one, sin inverse of 2x square root 1 minus x square is equal to cos inverse x. Clearly we need the answer in the form of cos inverse x. So let me take x is equal to cos theta. This implies theta is equal to cos inverse x. Again consider the left hand side of the equation. I will get sin inverse of 2 into cos theta 1 minus cos square theta. Now sin inverse 2 cos theta 1 minus cos square is sin square. Sin square under the square root becomes sin. So which is 2 cos theta sin theta which is nothing but sin 2 theta. So therefore sin inverse of sin 2 theta can be written as 2 into theta which can be written as 2 cos inverse x which is RHS. Next one, 3 sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse 3x minus 4x cube. So let me consider the RHS of the equation. So before that, let me take x is equal to sin theta. Then theta can be written as sin inverse x. So consider the RHS. RHS is equal to sin inverse 3 into sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. What is 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta? It is sin 3 theta. So therefore here sin inverse of sin 3 theta can be written as sin inverse of sin becomes 3 theta itself. So therefore it is 3 theta which can be written as 3 sin inverse hex which is equal to LHS. Next one. 3 cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse of 4x cube minus 3x. So here let me take x is equal to cos theta. Then this implies theta is equal to cos inverse x. Again take right hand side of the equation here which can be written as 
cos inverse of 4 into cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. What is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta? This can be written as cos 3 theta. Cos inverse of cos theta is theta itself. So cos inverse of cos 3 theta is 3 theta which is 3 cos inverse x that is equal to LHS. Next one tan inverse x plus tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square is equal to tan inverse 3x minus x cube divided by 1 minus x square. Take x is equal to tan theta then this implies theta is equal to tan inverse x. Consider the RHS here. RHS is given tan inverse and here we have 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. So in the place of x just replace with tan theta. So what is 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta over 1 minus tan square theta? It is tan 3 theta. So tan inverse of tan 3 theta we get. So here 3 theta can be written as theta plus 2 theta. So here tan inverse of tan get removed and 3 theta is remaining and theta plus 2 theta which is one and the same as 3 theta. So what is theta we have taken here? Tan inverse x. And here this becomes 2 tan inverse x. What is the formula for 2 tan inverse x? 2 tan inverse x means tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square. So which is what the LHS of the equation that is tan inverse plus tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square that is equal to the LHS. So replace x with tan theta then we get tan inverse of tan 3 theta. We can write it as 3 theta. 3 theta again can be written as theta plus 2 theta. Theta is tan inverse x. Here it becomes 2 tan inverse x. From the formula of 2 tan inverse x, we can write it as tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square. Find the value of x. Tan inverse of x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 plus tan inverse x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 is equal to pi by 4. So here let us use the formula of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y and here on the RHS you have pi by 4. So tan inverse x plus tan inverse y means tan inverse x plus 5 divided by 1 minus x into y. This is equal to pi by 4. Now shift this tan inverse here and solve this. Here this becomes x minus 1 x plus 2 plus x plus 1 x minus 2 whole divided by x minus 2 x plus 2. And in the denominator here it becomes x minus 2 x plus 2 minus x minus 1 x plus 1 whole divided by x minus 2 x plus 2. Here this becomes when you shift tan inverse to that side that's become tan pi by 4. So we can cancel the denominators here. So what is the value of tan pi by 4? tan pi by 4 is equal to 1. That is tan 45 degree is 1. Now here we are left with x minus 1 x plus 2 plus x plus 1 x minus 2 whole divided by. See here x minus 2 x plus 2 can be written as x square minus 4 using the formula of a square minus b square. So now here we have minus of x minus 1 x plus 1. x minus 1 x plus 1 is x square minus 1. Here minus becomes minus x square plus 1 is equal to 1 here. So next cross multiply and shift it. Here you will get 
x square minus x plus 2x minus 2 plus x square minus 2x plus x minus 2 is equal to when you shift it here x square minus 4 minus x square plus 1. So x square plus x square here 2x square. Next we have minus x plus 2x is x. Next we have minus 2x plus x is minus x. Minus 2 minus 2 is equal to x square x square get cancelled. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. Next we have 2x square plus x minus x cancels. Minus 4 is equal to minus 3. So 2x square is equal to 3 minus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 1. x square is equal to 1 divided by 2 or x is equal to 1 by root 2. And since here it is a square root, we use plus or minus. So this is the value of x. So using tan inverse x plus tan inverse y formula, we will get the equation. Shift tan inverse to the right hand side, then it becomes tan pi by 4 whose value is equal to 1. Then rearrange it and solve for x. We will get the value of x as plus or minus 1 by root 2. Next one we have tan inverse 2x plus tan inverse 3x is equal to pi by 4. Use the same formula of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y which can be written as tan inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus xy. So using this formula here we can write tan inverse 2x plus 3x divided by 1 minus 2x into 3x is equal to pi by 4. This can be written as tan inverse 5x divided by 1 minus 6x square is equal to pi by 4. So shift tan inverse to the right hand side. Then it becomes 5x over 1 minus 6x square is equal to tan pi by 4 whose value is equal to 1. Now from this we can write it as 5x is equal to 1 minus 6x square or 6x square plus 5x minus 1 is equal to 0. This can be written as 6x square plus 6x minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. 6x common x plus 1 minus 1 common x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we get x plus 1 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. This implies x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to 1 divided by 6. Since x is equal to minus 1 does not satisfy the equation, so therefore the value is equal to 1 divided by 6. Next problem, write the following function in its simplest form. So we have to write this function as simple as possible that is in the simplest form. Now we have here tan inverse of cos x minus sin x divided by cos x plus sin x. Let me divide both numerator and denominator by cos x. So if you divide it by cos x, then it becomes 1 minus tan x divided by 1 plus tan x. And here this can be written as tan inverse of using the property of trigonometric function. 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta can be written as tan of pi by 4 minus theta and here theta is nothing but x. So therefore here tan inverse tan can be removed. The value is equal to pi by 4 minus x. So this is the value for the simplest form of the given function. Next one, tan inverse of square root of 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x. Now using the multiple angle property of the trigonometric function here, I can write tan inverse of square root of 1 minus cos x as 2 sin square x by 2 whole divided by 1 plus cos x as 2 cos square x by 2. 2, 2 get cancels. Sin square by cos square becomes square root of tan square x by 2. Now square root and square get cancels. We get tan inverse of tan x by 2. Again, tan inverse of tan can be removed and the value is equal to x by 2. Next, we have 
tan inverse of cos x divided by 1 minus sin x. Now using the half angle formula here also cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta. In multiple angle formula this can be written as cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2. And for the denominator in the place of 1 I will write it as cos square or cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 because we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 hence I will replace it back and minus sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta in case of half angle it is 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. So here I can write this as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. Now numerator is in the form of a square minus b square. So here I will get it as a plus b a minus b. And denominator is in the form of a square plus b square minus 2ab which can be written as a minus b whole square that is cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 whole square. Now here cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 cancels with 1 cos x by 2 minus x by 2. So I am left with cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. So whenever you have tan inverse outside make sure tan inside. So for that purpose I will divide by cos x by 2 for both numerator and denominator. When you divide it by cos x by 2 cos x by 2 cos x by 2 is 1 sin by cos becomes tan x by 2. Similarly in the denominator it will become 1 minus tan x by 2. 1 plus tan x divided by 1 minus tan x can be written as tan pi by 4 plus x. But in the place of x we have x by 2. So therefore I can write this as tan inverse of tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. Now tan inverse tan can be removed. So therefore the value is pi by 4 plus x by 2. Next one tan inverse of square root of 1 plus x square minus 1 whole divided by x. So here put x is equal to tan theta. So this implies theta is equal to tan inverse x. So here we have tan inverse of 1 plus tan square theta under the square root minus 1 divided by tan theta. So tan inverse 1 plus tan square is secant square under the square root you have secant square so therefore this becomes secant theta minus 1 divided by tan theta. Now replace secant theta by 1 minus cos theta. So 1 minus cos theta minus 1 divided by sin theta divided by cos theta. So on solving this we will get the value as tan inverse 1 minus cos theta divided by sin theta. Now we have 1 minus cos theta. So using the property of multiple angles. So we can write this as tan inverse of 2 sin square theta by 2 and sin theta as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. 2, 2 get cancels here. Sin square theta by 2, 1 sin theta, 1 sin theta by 2 cancels. So now we have tan inverse of sin theta by 2 plus cos theta by 2, which will become tan inverse of tan theta by 2. So tan inverse of tan theta by 2 is theta by 2. What is theta? We have replaced theta with tan inverse x. So I can write this as half tan inverse x. So this is the simplest form. Next one. Here we have tan inverse of 1 over square root of x square minus 1. So for this purpose, we need a tan inside. So to get tan inside, let me take 
x is equal to secant theta. So this implies theta is equal to secant inverse x. So tan inverse of 1 over secant square theta minus 1. So we get tan inverse of 1 over secant square theta minus 1. 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta. Secant square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. So it is tan square. So square root square get cancelled. Next we will get 1 over tan which can be written as tan inverse of 1 by tan theta. But 1 by tan theta is cot theta. So, but cot theta can also be written as pi by 2 minus theta from tan. So, therefore, tan inverse of tan pi by 2 minus theta. Now, we have tan inverse of tan here. So, therefore, we will get pi by 2 minus theta. But what we have taken for theta, theta is equal to secant inverse x. So, therefore, the value is pi by 2 minus secant inverse x. So by using all the properties of inverse trigonometric function, we have proved certain functions and also found the simplest form of the function. So this completes the chapter inverse trigonometric functions. We will meet you in the next session with the new chapter. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.